are. Oh. Piece of cake. Everything fits great. Okay, wonderful. This is the emergency hammock setup that I have in my van. I will use this for just daytime lounging or at night when the animals steal my bed or I'm just too lazy to make it. Could potentially sleep one extra person in here and it's nice when the van isn't level. I can still deploy the hammock and get a decent night's sleep. And I can put my head at either end, depending on the view or the direction of the breeze. This works for me going diagonally across the back of my Transit Connect, as I am only five foot two and three quarters. So, might not have as much luck if you're any taller than that. So this is a full-size hammock that I got from Princess Auto for like seven bucks. On one end, I have removed the strap and just fed the carabiner right through the hammock. And I've used a hook from an old tarp strap looped through the metal of the van on an existing opening to hold one end in place. On the other end, I have an eye hook through another existing hole that was on the van. And then I have a carabiner around the hammock. Part way up, because the van is so short, I needed to make the hammock a little bit shorter. Then the rest of the length goes down to another strap and another carabiner. And some paracord that I have hooked onto the track for the front passenger seat. One thing to note is that the underside of the hammock can get a little chilly even in the van. So one of those hammock underquilts would probably be pretty beneficial in cold weather at least. It's pretty quick and easy set up and tear down. It packs up super small and then I just leave the one end attached. This would also come in handy should I decide to take it out of the van at a campsite and hang it between some trees. And can definitely come in handy if you're traveling with three bed hog animals. <laughs> 